plant systematics or plant taxonomy so taxonomy is the systematic arrangement of uh, things according to some principles or rules so here in plant uh, taxonomy or plant systematics so the arrangement of plants in a systematic manner based on their similarities according to some principles or rules systematics is also the arrangement of things in a systematic manner so let's come to the first one introduction to taxonomy so the word taxonomy was coined by apd kandol the term taxonomy was coined by apd kandol according to the taxonomy word the systematic or uh, arrangement of the plants in a systematic or based on some principles or rules in a systematic manner so here when you talk about uh, plants uh, we are observing uh, many number of plants in our daily life so here we may identify some plants or we may not able to identify some plants so here uh, if you consider where are the plants okay if you consider the habitat of the plants so we observe the plants in the botanical gardens scrub jungles evergreen forest deciduous forest and in the normal desert areas aquatic habitats and also on the normal mesophytic terrestrial habitat so here we are talking about uh, the uh, plants which are present in different locations or different places or different areas so does all the plants present in all these areas show same type of uh, size structure shape morphology physiology genetical aspects etc so we find a lot of variation between the plants which are present in different localities or within the same locality also there are number of differences between one species to the other species and uh, within the species also we may observe little changes so it is very tough to identify and study the uh, changes from one plant body to the other plant body so that the scientist had made an uh, systematic study in the form of plant taxonomy so in that as i said that the term taxonomy was coined by apd kandol where the plants are studied or plants are grouped into various uh, classes or various groups or various uh, categories based on the similarities and dissimilarities the group wise similarities and group wise dissimilarities can be studied easily when compared to identifying and studying the individual characters of the plants so based on that one many scientists from uh, uh, long back from ancient period of time the science the people had started identifying and classifying the pla plants based on their own uh, uh, criteria so likewise uh, if we take so aristotle is a, the person who classified the living organisms based on presence and absence of red blood cells in them anemia and anemia are the two groups which have been categorized based on presence and absence of red blood cells in them in the same way theophrastus father of uh, botany he classified the plants based on their habit into herbs shrubs and trees likewise uh, to the modern period so there are uh, hundreds of uh, pl plants uh, plant scientists who try to classify the plants into various categories or various groups based on the similarities and dissimilarities so broadly if we talk about here so there are two one two categories one is alpha taxonomy and uh, omega taxonomy so alpha taxonomy means the classification of the plants based on morphological characters the criteria taken for classification is morphological characters so based on uh, morphology that is uh, the plants which are showing similarity in their morphological characters have been kept under one family or one group and the one which are uh, differing in their morphological characters have been uh, kept in different groups